Hi, my name is Chon J. Vaprawinski, and I'm an Applications Engineer for Go Engineer. In a previous video, we showed you how to make copies of sketches using the copy and paste method, as well as the drive sketch method. We even showed you how to scale the drive sketch using the modify tool located under Tools, Sketch Tools, Modify. But if you happen to use blocks for your sketches, how do you scale blocks? Here I have a turbine blade and I've created the blade section using a loft. And for each sketch of the loft, you can see that I have the same shape, just varying in scale as I go up. Let's go ahead and take a look at how I did that. I've created another configuration with a block and a sketch. And I'm going to insert that same block onto a new plane. Now I have the block command open to insert a block from my library of blocks. You might not see this on your version of SOLIDWORKS, if you want to access this, all you need to do is right click the command manager and select blocks and you will see the same icons. Once I click on insert block, I need to navigate to the folder location and locate the desired block I want to use. For now, I'm just going to place this anywhere on the sketch plane. Now that I have my block, I want to scale it. If I go to tools, sketch tools, you'll notice that the modify command is grayed out meaning that I can't access the command with the block. So this scaling method with the modify command can be thrown out the door. If you look up a little bit more into the same section, you'll notice a scale command. Let's see if we can scale the block using this command. Within the scale command, I need to select the entities I wanna have scaled. So I'll just highlight over the whole block. Notice that the scale command did not pick up the block itself. And if I try to select the individual line entities within the block, those are not captured in the scale command either. So we can't use this command either. So far, these methods are perfectly acceptable methods to try, but sometimes the answer can lie in the simplest place. If I click on the block itself, the feature manager tree will switch over to the property manager. And in the property manager, there's a parameter section and the first option is a scaling option. It is here that I have to edit the scale of the block to get my desired size. Once I've changed my scale, I can now apply relations and dimensions to fully define my sketch. After I've completed my sketch, I can apply the loft command to create my blade. To create the completed blade, I would need to repeat the same process of scaling the block on my other planes. This is Charnjivar Fabrinsky, and I hope you enjoyed this video on how to scale a block in SOLIDWORKS. Mm -hmm.